We have here the elusive Peony Molossowitchii, also known as Molly the Witch. It's very slow growing and uh, I've never seen it sold widely in, in stores. It's only very, um, very limited even online. So, uh, because it's probably very slow growing. My plant is about 12 years old. Uh, it takes a while to get flowering. Mine didn't flower for about five years. I just got bigger and bigger leaves. This year I've only got three brooms. Last year was much more healthier. Um, I think the leaves are damaged by the cold weather this year. Uh, it's one of the very first flowering peonies in my garden. In the winter time, or well, autumn time, these seed heads here in the center, um, they open up and they have uh, red seeds inside. So it's quite unusual, uh, but it's very hard to get hold of this peony. So here it is, peony Molossa Witchii. Here we have a, a peony rockii. Uh, it's one of the earliest flowering peonies. It's a tree peony. Um, I've had this plant for about 10 years. Every year it gives me only a couple of blooms. Uh, and the bloom lasts uh, for about a week. But uh, the rocky eye is very rare. It's famous for its uh, dark flares in the center. This particular version that I have is salmon with the outer, lighter outer edges and the flare is a very deep blood red, red colour fading out with the markings. It's slightly fragrant, uh, very beautiful flower, but it does take up a lot of space for uh, quite stingy flowers and uh, short flowering season, that's probably why it's not grown, widely grown. Uh, but it is quite a rare plant and uh, I'm glad to have it in my garden. Here we have the early flowering Claire de Lune. It is a single pale yellow, creamy white peony. Very early flowering and uh, very reliable. 